Rendezvous 2007. I'm doing a spark plug. Valve cover gasket. <clears throat> and I'm gonna change the serpentine belt while I'm at it. Well, I looked up on the internet to see if anybody make a video of how to do uh, any of this stuff. And guess what? I don't see it. And I can understand why. Because it is hard to do. Period. You can't even see the spark plug in the back. You can't even see. You have to feel it with your finger. And when you take it off, you got to feel where the hole is at. That's one, three, and five back there. This is a V6. And <clears throat> in order to get to it, well, I should say a little bit easier, you got to take the intake manifold off. Now, I'm not doing this video on on step by step how to do it. I'm just telling you what I what I did to make my life easy. I take the intake manifold off, take the uh, air intake tube off, uh, pull off the uh, coolant reservoir, take the uh, air filter off, and I also uh, remove the throttle body. Whoever designed this car need to be shot because it is very tight fit look at all this wire all this wire over here runs all over the place and then over time of course the wire loop is going to get brittle and it is going to break off into little pieces and then guess what you're going to have a just bare wire and then when it rubs something then it's going <clears> to <throat> cause electrical problem if the wire inside is exposed um, but I'm going to show you the alternator this is the alternator it's got two bolts actually three including this one this one will get to easily this one is in the back it's 15 millimeter I use the uh, uh, rent ratchet rent to get to it now this one right here sits <clears throat> against the firewall see my finger see so where it all rubbed off because I'm in there turning it with my hand and the wrench that's where the bolt is and when you put it in make sure this bolt is in there don't leave this bolt out you can leave all the other bolts out and since I'm doing the wild cover gasket, I had to take the the uh, alternator bracket off that holds the alternator. And it have the eyelet pulley. I just remove it. Then it's got the uh, belt tensioner. I remove that. Then it's got, they're all 15 millimeter. Then it's got one, two, uh, three three bolt that holds it in see this two right here is where the alternator sits on top and then the earpiece for the alternator right here goes right here and then this bolt slide through it and then you have this this bracket right here yeah it's not it's not fun to do the uh, the other three the uh, spark plugs they easy to get to um, and the valve cover but you have to remove this water cross over pipe right here which goes in there and it should come with a new o-ring when you buy the uh, valve cover gasket I already put it on there um, but yes this water cross over runs all the way to and it connect to this right here this hose I guess it go to the heater core um, right behind the transmission dipstick um, right here's your EGI valve and if you guys want to know where your oil pressure 
uh, sensor is it's right there see this why that's the sensor that should be the oil pressure sensor it's connected to the back of the block if you guys have any codes for uh, <clears throat> engine oil any engine oil code should I say but yeah like I said whoever designed this is an idiot but I'll just show you what I did to get all this out yeah I have to remove this bracket alternator bracket to do the uh, the back valve cover and it's hole in by four millimeters uh, bolt so I'm gonna take that off put a new gasket on there or seal um, yeah that's what I did um, so I'm not doing step by step I just a little too much crap to go through but <clears throat> this is just for the information if you guys want to change your spark plug <clears throat> to make your life easier remove the intake um, and 9 times out of 10 the spark plug wire it's on it tight so when you pull it it's either gonna rip the uh, the wire off and then just go ahead and change your spark plug wire too then the one in the back I <clears throat> ripped two of them off so I had to get a, a plier and pull them out spark plug boot I can't even see where the spark plug hole is at maybe I can see it better when I take the valve cover off yeah so got this far you might as well change the valve cover gasket if you're gonna do spark plugs because it's not as easy as uh, other cars I worked on. A V6 engine. Yeah, there's a V6, but the way they designed it is just psst, complicated. Well, I hope this helped. Um, have a good day.